Hi guys. Um, in true Mercury retrograde fashion, um, because it usually hits me pretty hard, um, when I'm doing these videos, um, there might be some delay with the talking and stuff like that. So even though I've got my voice back, for the most part, and I'm feeling a lot better, um, if I get out videos, general or personal, <clears throat> and there's a lot of lag in it, I'm truly sorry. I'm not going to stop the reading and start over again because that would just defeat the purpose, right? So I wanted to thank you guys again for being so patient with the readings because I did not realize that April was going to hit me so hard. And really, it was the end of March, like literally when Mercury went retrograde, it hit me pretty hard getting sick. Um, like I was seriously forced to slow down, which was a really big lesson to me. The next time Mercury goes retrograde, I am going to make sure everything is done before then and go into hiding because this one was the hardest was it, it hit me the hardest. And I think it was because of all the other planetary Saturn and Mars where they are. They're not being very nice to everybody either. So um, just everything that's been going on, I truly appreciate everybody's patience, and I know that everybody's feeling these heavy energies, and I want to tell you that even if the energies are still kind of heavy and they're not letting up on you, um, it's all good, and I want to help you to be able to move through everything. Um, I know a lot of people that are having a really hard time with personal transformation, not really feeling very good about themselves. Um, I even went through like, you know, to be totally honest, let's just lay it all out there. I even went through like a week of, oh my, like, what am I doing in my life? Like, I can't even, I can't work. I can't do anything. I'm miserable. I feel sick all the time. You know, I just like was so hard on myself, um, during this time that I was sick because I'm the person that likes to be productive and get things done. And literally the universe was like, no, you have got to take care of yourself. You're not taking care of yourself. You haven't for a while. It's time. So I was forced into this energy of chill mode. And I think, I mean, like the Saturn and Mars um, conjunct right now um, and what it has been and the sun and Pluto. I mean, it's airy season has been very tough for a lot of people. And it's not letting up. Um, Chiron um, is moving from Pisces into Aries on April 17th, as is Saturn going retrograde in Capricorn. Saturn is all about karma. Chiron is the wounded healer. It's going from a very watery sign, watery sign, a very like, we're no longer going to be wallowing in our pain. We're going into a fire sign where we'll, we, we will be doing something about our pain instead. And Saturn being retrograde is going to be like karma's a bitch. I mean, seriously, like when it comes down to it, um, Saturn being retrograde, especially in Capricorn, is because, you know, I mean, Saturn is the ruler, Capricorn. So um, if you have found yourself to not be on the up and up in your past, um, this will be coming out and Saturn will be retrograde from the 17th until September 6th this year. So there will be a lot of dishing out of karma. If you have things in your past that have to be fixed, Saturn is going to force you to do it. Um, Saturn retrograde, well, sorry, channeling will force you to do it. Um, I know you guys have seen other readers where you're like, when I'm channeling, I, you know, the energy just builds up and it has to come out somehow, right? I just, it's, it's been happening a lot to me lately, for sure. So, um, Saturn is also, and, and if you do have good karma, if you've been the person that's like really been working on your karma and like, I am learning my lessons and I'm getting things done and I really want to, you know, make sure that I am doing what I'm supposed to be doing, Saturn will provide you with gifts while it's in retrograde. The, you will be, um, karma, good karma will be coming back to you, you know, over and over again. So, um, really during this time, and I'm not saying like you all are, you know, I'm not going to point my finger at you and like shake it because nobody's perfect. And we come into this world with soul contracts. What kind of karma can we, you know, 
fix, like, let's try not to make any more. And I think that really right now, and I'm even seeing it in areas of my life, what is the karma that needs to be fixed before Saturn goes retrograde? What is it that I need to confront about myself? You know, like, what were those final lessons before Saturn went from Sagittarius into Capricorn? What is it that I haven't completely figured out and cleaned up in my life so that I can so that I can fulfill my purpose, so that I can be a better person? I don't want to add more karma to this lifetime because, well, I mean, when it comes down to it, I've always tried to be the best person that I can be. That's just like in my nature. Um, but I'm not perfect, and I know that I've hurt people in the past, and I know I haven't done exactly the right things in life all the time. Um, I'm not a saint, but at the same time, I do try to do everything I can to make sure I am not um, hurting other people on purpose, right? So we really have to turn the mirror around and like look at ourselves instead of pointing the finger at somebody else because that's not what this is about. This is about turning your, that finger around and pointing it at yourself and saying, what is it that I need to clean up? What is it that I'm missing? And Saturn's going to show you. And it's either going to be, and, and you can change that. Like if you, ha if there are things from your past that you really weren't on the up and up about, um, this is a really good time for you for that to come to the forefront and for you to be like, it's almost like, I want to say it's almost kind of like the, you know, in the 12 step program. Um, for addictions and you have to, you know, ask for forgiveness from people in your life or, you know, make amends with people in your life that you've hurt in your past. It's kind of the same thing. Saturn's going to bring that to you while it's in retrograde and it's going to say, what are you going to do with this? Are you going to wallow in your self-pity? I don't think so because Chiron and Aries isn't going to let you do that. You're no longer wounded. It's time to heal. And if we have to be serious, I mean, this time it's like serious. We got to be serious about our healing. We have to be serious about our karma. This isn't playtime. At the same time, really open yourself up to all of the gifts that the universe is giving to you. Because as you create better karma for yourself, you will receive better karma you will receive gifts from the universe. And I think that this time, while Saturn is in retrograde, will also be a really perfect time for that to happen for everyone. Um, if you do feel like there are some things that you need to fix from your past, put your good karma out there. Do nice things for people. Be a better person. Wake up in the morning and set the intention to smile at everybody you see, whether you feel like it or not. Or, you know, I mean, that'll just brighten somebody's day. That's putting good karma out there. Um, I went to Starbucks earlier today, and it was so cool. I love it when people in front of you, like, pay for the person behind you, and it just, like, goes and goes and goes. And so when I got to the window and the person had paid for me, the person in front of me had already paid for my drink, I asked the guy, I'm like, how long has this been going on this morning? And he said, since we opened up this morning, every single person has paid for the person behind them. And I'm like, that, my friends, is good karma. Just the small acts of kindness. And we talk about this. But also, like, really put your gratitude out there into the universe. What are you so grateful for when you wake up in the morning? This is really going to help your karma as well. Because this is putting into the universe that vibration of, I want to be a better person. I know the gifts that I've been handed to. I know the beautiful people that I have in my life and what they mean to me. And putting that out into the universe is really going to help this Saturn retrograde as well. So try not to get stuck in the, I'm a bad person, I just do bad things, I can't do anything right. But like, don't let Saturn in retrograde do that to you. Really open yourself up to being grateful for making mistakes and being able to fix them. And be really grateful for doing things for other people and then receiving the gifts after you do things for other people. And even if you don't receive the gifts right away, they're coming. I promise. So I hope everybody is doing well, and thank you again for being so patient. I am getting personal readings out as fast as I possibly can. Um, while I'm getting personal readings out, I will start the general readings up as well. So... 
Um, if you're worried that you're not going to get your personal reading, um, if I've emailed you and let you know that it is coming, I promise you it is coming. Um, I do not want to overdo my energy while Mercury is still in retrograde. That goes direct on Sunday, and then we still have the post-shadow period. So let's just all stay patient with everyone and make sure that we're being very good to each other. Um, also, what else did I want to say? There was one other thing I wanted to say, and I there was some noise going on outside, and I totally lost it. Oh! The readings that I will be doing for the second half of April, I'm actually going to do um, the second half of April into the first half of May. So it's going to be like two different spreads, basically, um, because I kind of want to get ahead um, instead of being so far behind. Um, I decided that yesterday. I was like, you know, I'm, I'm already so far behind and I'm not going to be able to get all the general readings out by... Um, April 15th, and I want everybody to be able to get their information. So I'm going to do the best I can, but it will be like the second half of April into the first half of May. Um, so, okay. I love you guys so much, and I will see you soon for the general readings. And if you're waiting for a personal reading, they are coming. I'm working on them. Bye.